<laughs> Ooh. All right. You're up. Hey, oh. you're on. Oh, yeah. hello. Yeah, on. <laughs> uh, I play a video game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, it's been a while. It's been like six years, okay? Give me a break. Um, so, uh, welcome to Diablo 1, level 1%. Um, this is the first of the series. It's um, a little different than D2, a little, a lot different than D3 and 4. Um, so, just to <laughs> clarify, um, Ash is the donation name incentive. Kevin? Is yes, the donation name incentive is Kevin. You couldn't Thanks. stop working even when you're in front of the camera. <laughs> right. It was Thanks, he, Amy. He, he, it was handy. By the way. Okay. So um, I'll be starting with Kevin. Just to clarify, um, <laughs> just to clarify for everyone watching, um, we are doing the level 1% non-Rambo right now. Uh, if at any point uh, for like the first 20 minutes or so it gets met, I can convert it to Rambo. Rambo allows us to basically go into the hardest difficulty of the game. Um, the route changes just slightly, but uh, I can adjust kind of on the fly for it. So It's very painful. You want to see Funk struggle? Uh, it turns the run into what I call a dumpster fire. It is a very, <laughs> very rough run. So I'm ready to go. Um, if the crowd wants to do a countdown, then I can go ahead and start. All right. All right, start from three. Three, three two, two, one, go. go. <laughs> okay. So the start of the run is pretty straightforward. I'm just shopping. So um, in this case, uh, I'm looking for two items in particular. Uh, a, I'm looking for a plus HP item. Allows me to do um, some tricks later on. Basically makes me stun immune. Uh, and then I'm looking for a plus magic item. Uh, the plus magic item has to be a chest piece or a head piece, uh, or else I can't equip it because I replace it with a staff. Uh, and then the... so. Plus magic, I need at least four. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, so yeah, it was the one above it, right? Oh, perfect. So I'm going to save here so I don't accidentally unsave. Um, so this part of the run is pretty straightforward. I'm just kind of duping away um, some gold so I can buy that chess piece. And then once I buy that chess piece, um, I'm going to go ahead and then start doing this again for a secret, or second item, and that is the plus HP item. Um, like during this time would be probably a great time for donations as I'm currently duping some gold. Okay, I gotcha. Let me get you some good donations here. Actually, Ash, before you do that, it should be mentioned that what he's doing is like a 1 in 120 frame trick. Yeah. yeah every single time he does this. So, like, this is really hard to do, by the way. He's making it look insanely easy. You're jinxing me. I'm screwing it up now. <laughs> okay, now, you can, now you're good. Okay, we've got $50 from <laughs> Dragon that says, Thank you, GDQ, for doing what you do. Cheers to everyone off camera for making this event happen. Thank you for your kind message. <laughs> We also have $20 from Further Ado that says, so glad I get to tune into GDQ while I'm at work this week. Can't wait for a week of amazing runs. Thanks for jinxing it, Amy. Hey, <laughs> duping is one of those types of things where, oh my goodness. Uh, sorry. Get Dup the groove, man. It's uh, honestly, it's uh, it, because it's a frame perfect trick um, and because you have to do so many uh, consistently, um, you kind of almost have everything down to pure muscle memory. So if you s consciously think of duping, you consciously fail duping. <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening here. Is as, you, as you can tell, as you're explaining that, you hit most of those. <laughs> you missed like three. <laughs> but then you trying it, you missed most of them. So It's the uh, you're now consciously breathing meme. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you're right. Oh, I'm breathing now. So what I'm doing right now is Griswold Shop actually does update as you buy items too. So I, to avoid constantly reloading, I'm kind of just doing that right now. Tell me you don't want to hear the, uh, uh, the voice oh. line over and over. Steins Gate. Wait, you don't Steins like Steins Gate? Steins Gate was a great game. Or, sorry, game? Anime. Anime. You get my point. I don't think I've ever heard of this. All right, so the, the weeb levels are Oops. Funk, Me, Amy, Shock. Yeah, I think that's about right. I'm on the bottom, absolutely, yeah. for sure. Cape of Plus Magic. Nope, none of those are good. I, uh, this is one of those slow parts I mentioned. So by all means, whenever you have a donation, feel free to throw it in. I have $25 from 
Funk Mom NP. Oh, no. It says, have a great time, Funk Master MP. Love you. Funk Mom NP. <laughs> so, I, I'm one of those people who I, I get so, um, how would I say it? I get like so nervous when people do uh, uh, like family-related donations and everything like that. So when um, my mother, she loves loves kind of um, you know hopping in on things. Every time uh, that happens, it's like, oh my god, it's so cringe. <laughs> Sorry, I, this is not going as well as I want it to. So do we have hit points, and you're looking for magic right now? I, we no, I have magic. I thought, I thought, but you got magic. He's looking okay. for the vitality. Yeah, this what I was doing there is a bit slow, so I'm just so gonna do it. This we point. we could take um, vitality, but we want hit points because it makes the the setup easier. Yeah. Or um, yeah. Sorry, the other way around. Vitality generally will increase your hit points. Uh, like at this level, you the max vitality you can really get on an item is like one to five. Sorry, oh, that's wrong. Uh, one to five. So because of that. You, you can't really set up for low HP very easily um, because a lot of the times firewall or however you try to get low HP takes a uh, you take a lot of damage. So having only one to five HP to deal with or work with is generally too yeah. too short. And we'll explain that when we get there. Just know that the more hit point buffer that Funk can get on this item, the easier the trick will be to set up. So if you got more donations, Ash, while we're looking for this hit point item. It wasn't this low in uh, practice, sorry. <laughs> I definitely have another great one for you. I have $10 from Nico that says, a haiku for you. A wise man once said, stay a while and listen. No thanks, must go fast. Had to stay up for watch and donate during one of the first games I ever fell in love with. Always excited to see a Do Diablo game at GDQ. Good luck, Funkmaster. Thank you. Uh, just a follow up to that, okay. So we're, we're talking, uh, how would I say it? Um, the, it, oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I apologize. I was trying to do this. So uh, have you ever uh, wondered, you know, where some of those towns folks are? Like, I, I always seem to get, like, lost, and I can't seem to find where is Griswoldo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this this uh, are the Diablos funk. Yeah, I, I finally actually got the. So you actually you, got one. You had, to, you had to hit the pun for it to <laughs> <Yeah>. show up. <laughs> I was seeing I was seeing tons of vitality items, but no hit points. Yeah, uh, the RNG in this run really Diablos. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, so here's your donation incentive. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you buying? Uh, oh, actually, I saw it right there. Yeah, yeah I have one hundred dollars from Shayna that says Di Diablo Rambo, let's go. Speaking of which, we are already at seven thousand four hundred and five dollars and sixty-three cents for the level one percent Rambo Sorcerer mode, which means we're at forty-four percent. So let's take it to one hundred percent, chat. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely switch that, like. You just, what it's, it's yeah, really we, easy to do. Yeah, We just instantly found what two of the four things we're looking for here. We got what Firewall and uh, I think it was Town Portal we saw. No, I think I saw Staff. Uh, we, we have four of the things. Oh, we have four now. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you got Firewall. a ball already? Uh, no, we still need a uh, Mana Shield. So, oh, okay. Um, I alluded to it earlier, um, which was uh, to make ourselves buying? basically invincible almost or stun immune later in the game. Oh, there's mana there it is, yeah. yeah. All right, so you have everything. So to make ourselves invincible, um, for all intents and purposes, um, we need something called Mana Shield. It basically allows us to convert our um, eight, like mana into what would be hit points. Um, we use uh, that kind of item uh, earlier, that uh, chess piece, that allows us to do something called low HP. Um, so by getting your HP equal to or less than your level, you can't be stunned. Um, so, what are you actually, we have everything, don't we? Uh, except for these. Um, <clears throat> so you can't be stunned, which basically then allows you to, you know, walk around without having to worry about your level. Because in this game, level is a huge issue. Because um, hit, there's something called hit stun in the game. Uh, anytime you take a hit, um, there, if the damage exceeds your level or exceeds your HP, or sorry, is less than your max HP, uh, you will get stunned. Uh, it's a guaranteed chance. It's not uh, like random like D2 is. Um, 
So you're guaranteed to get stunned. So by having this trick allows us to basically do everything we want. Yeah, so we're going to combine the fact that we're going to have one HP because we're stuck at level one. So anytime we get hit, we won't get oh. stunned. But the one will also take damage under our mana instead of our HP with mana shield. Uh, and that basically means these mana potions are both uh, fuel for our spell casting, but also it's our new health. So Funk can just quaff the mana potions really quick. And that means that he won't die instantly. It'll take two hits to kill him. Some enemies can hit twice very quickly, so it's not like complete immunity. And some of them like to spam projectiles a lot, as you'll see. So it's still dangerous, but it makes this a uh, workable because the hit stun oh. in this game in particular is really bad normally. Almost leaves something behind. Um, ignore the fact that I forgot to dupe firewall. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Sorry. It, like I said, it's been like six years, okay? Uh, <laughs> Since you uh, actually have done a run at this game, you know. Or... I swear I did a ton <laughs> in the practice rooms, okay? Oh, no. Last time was just on the stage six years ago. Yeah. Um, honestly speaking, uh, this run um, in the normal uh, level 1% is... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, this run in the normal any percent uh, or level 1% uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, you don't actually take too much damage. Uh, the big thing right now is just getting that low HP. Mm -hmm. So what Funk is going to do is we're going to cast the uh, firewall here because standing in our own firewall does damage. And we want to wind up with less health than that HP item is giving us so that when we unequip the health item in town, we'll go to 1 HP and then we don't need that health item anymore. So we were under the HP bonus of the item. We remove it. Now we're stuck at one HP. We've got mana shields. Nothing will stun us, and we can go through the dungeon now. Yep, and I, uh, I have scrolls as well, which is really nice. Um, <clears throat> scrolls, uh, for anyone who's wondering later in the game. Uh, oh, that was pretty clear. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> scrolls uh, in this game in particular. Ah, one second. Oh, wait, this isn't Rambo. Sorry, I'm thinking, oh, no, if I get hit by any of them, it's going to be a, a, yeah. a wipe or whatnot. But. If you manage to meet the Rambo partway through, any enemy, even these dinky skeletons on level 2, are dangerous. So if you want to see the danger level skyrocket and become the dumpster fire, like Funk said, get your donations in. Another staircase, what the heck? So the Cathedral in particular, the stair generation, is actually pretty straightforward. Um, these rooms that I'm in right now, called the Four Pillar Rooms, uh, Four Pillars, who would have thought? Uh, <laughs> the Four Pillar Rooms, uh, they have the highest chance to spawn a stairwell, and uh, stairwells oh, can't... Wow, dude. <laughs> We're getting pretty lucky compared to practice. This is exactly like the practice one you just yeah. did. And then on level four, there's a two-thirds chance that this save file generated the exit in the northwest. So checking the northwest is a pretty good call on level four. So another thing to note is uh, you, what you saw me doing there is phasing is teleporting me um, on the screen, right? It's not something I can really control per se. It's a random teleport. Uh, what I can do, though, is I can kind of manipulate a bit because um, phasing... <laughs> Just teleported right to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, phasing, um, it sends me in the cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, right? It's pretty straightforward. And it sends me in like a, a small section of each of those areas. Um, knowing that, um, I can try to block off as many sections that I don't want to go uh, to kind of force it in a direction that I do want to go. The thing is, is sometimes you get unlucky and it still sends you somewhere you don't want to go. So by me kind of melee swinging here, um, I can kind of advance the RNG values to phase it in a different direction. So unfortunately, as you can see, I'm not getting very lucky here. So uh, yeah, It's also harder with the enemies shooting at you because they're also advancing the RNG, aren't they? Yes. Every Basically, any action that isn't just movement uh, advances RNG. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, so, so if Funk was in a spot where there weren't enemies around, you could just swing a staff and keep trying and eventually get the result that he wanted. Yeah, and every time I reload, it actually sends me back to the top of this list of like RNG numbers. So then I always kind of know, hey, on this level in particular, the first phase will say always send me to the east. Um, so then I kind of have that as a feeling. Uh, oh, also, it might just actually be here. Let me check. No, it's not. <laughs> so I have to go this way. 
Um, catacombs, which is what we're in right now, I, the map gens of probably the worst map gen in the entire game. Um, the cathedral we were just in, it, it's pretty straightforward. It's never going to be in the north end of the map um, or the northeast, northwest. But in the catacombs, um, it can be anywhere. Uh, and it, it can actually just like destroy a run if uh, you get what I call snake levels, where it's just a series of long, snaky corridors that are like three tiles thin, and it's just you waste so much time trying to find that stairwell. Or in practice, that stairwell can be directly where next to where you spawn, and you <laughs> take three steps and you go down to level. In like four out of the five levels, too. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was two in a row, then skip one, then it was basically two in a row again. Basically guaranteeing it's not going to happen on the stage because it happened in practice. <laughs> Yeah, uh, practice, I had actually a bunch of really good runs. Uh, I had one run in particular, actually. I wasn't recording, unfortunately. Oh, also, that's a hack. Um, there was one run in particular where I almost got the, uh, or, well, I did get the red card uh, for Rambo percent, uh, but I wasn't recording, so I almost got the record. And the <laughs> that pack in particular is insane. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you'll also notice that sometimes when uh, Funk is being attacked by huge numbers of projectiles, he'll make sure that he walks diagonally, because if you walk on a diagonal, then the projectiles can't hit you if they're about to hit you while you're walking diagonal. Um, so perspectives in this game are really wonky because um, like, what is considered diagonal is um, horizontal on the screen. Um, so normally when you think of diagonal, you think, oh, from corner to corner. Well, in this game, it's not corner to corner. <laughs> it's like yeah. similar to an isometric game oh, in a kind yeah. of way. Uh, well, is I this not isometric? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm on Red Bull energy right now. Oh, boy. Um, so I, I got a question for uh, uh, some of you guys. So. Have you ever wondered why the sorcerer always seems to wear a single like robe? They, he doesn't really have much of a, a wardrobe. Do I want the answer? <laughs> I think that when he was on his way to Tristram, he got robbed. I think it was a case of highway robbery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is, that, is that that a donation okay. angle? Ash, you got a donation? Can we give it the Rambo now so we can punish him for that one? <laughs> I sense a soul in need of donations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have $100 from Slime King that says, let's beat real world Diablo, cancer. Yeah. I also have $50 from Rody that says, duping is the first video game exploit I ever learned of. What is Diablo Rambo? Let's go. Also, hey, Brody, what's up? He's a old WoW member of mine, or uh, not of mine, but of my guild. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that charge. I also have fifty dollars from Christina Folk that says, "Hooray, Funkmaster, looking good. Thanks for streaming some Diablo. Never too early for some puns." As you're walking through this and finding all these other enemies, I keep going, "Man, just just kill them." And then I remember this is level one. Yep. Uh, level one is a lot of fun, uh, but it can get really hectic at times because um, we can't actually aggro, or sorry, we can't kill anything, right? Uh, but a lot of uh, enemies' AI, they never un-aggro or unattach to you. So you can literally have a run where you have every single enemy on the map aggroed to you. <laughs> and it can get kind of hectic. Yeah, so these stages are a little bit more nice on how the... Uh, oh, well, we got one more before we get to the caves. So level 8, once we find this, the, the generation will change. And then it's a little bit more predictable. Hopefully we can get some better luck there, but it can still troll really hard. So I'm in a bad spot right now. Yeah, you got a lot of these narrow hallways with tons of these little guys blocking your way. Yeah. So, as I was saying, level 1% is actually somewhat hard. <laughs> I got lucky here. It's right here. Uh, in the catacombs in particular, you can kind of get a feel for where things are, just from um, uh, the way kind of areas open up. Like a stairwell, for example, in the catacombs, uh, it needs a certain area of space, like uh, say seven tiles by seven tiles. Uh, and that area of the space uh, can't have enemies in it. 
So if you navigate around and you see it opens up to like approximately that size and there's nothing in there, you <laughs> you already kind of know, okay, what hey, you, you know, we're good. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I need to buy potions. So now is probably a good time for some more donations or some commentary from, uh, or puns even, puns from anyone who's interested. Please no more punishment on, for I'll, me. <laughs> I, I got a... a that's that's my only pun. Sorry, I'll, I'll cook something up. <laughs> Perfect. I appreciate it. Fresh meat. I mean, fresh donations. Yes, I got you on that. <laughs> Good reference. I like fifty dollars from Gizmo Squigglebud that says donating fifty dollars in honor of an old friend of our family who. Fr- who first I introduced me to Diablo as a young kid. The butcher, the butcher still gives me chills to this day. I might have heeded Deckard's advice to stay a while and listen if I only knew what horrors awaited me below. Best of luck, Funkmaster MP. Neither the butcher or Diablo can stop us from preventing cancer. Oh, so in the caves here, the exit always has to spawn in one of these northwest facing walls along a thick wall, which are the ones that have the dots on the map. So Funk is just going to head northwest because if we can find the edge of the map, there's just a high density of walls where the exit could spawn on this side of the map. And then if it doesn't spawn there, then we get to play find the random walls in the dungeon and hope that we find one that has the exit on it relatively quickly. So this is an example. So that um, that wall there, um, these uh, exits or these stairwells can only spawn on that orientation. So you always know that if there is a wall in that orientation uh, with the little dots, you're probably going to want to check it just in case. Um, <clears throat> so we were lucky there. It wasn't too too bad to get. Um, as Relkin was saying, is sometimes you get like what I call an island. It's like a, a wall where... <laughs> uh, this sniped on spawn. Even much. not on hell difficulty, you can still get sniped sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I drink before yeah, you go I'm down. Yeah, I'm trying to drink yeah, yeah. before I go down, yeah. <laughs> hey, be ready to save too. Yeah, perfect. There we go. So we are getting close to where the Rambo would cut off. Where are we right now, if I may? We are at 46%. We're at oh, okay. $7,730. So we could still make it. We just got to push. Yeah, yeah we, we, got, we, we have to... probably maybe like three to five minutes right now. Yeah, we have a big section of duping coming up, and then like that's when Funk needs to know how much duping he has to do. So once we start the duping, that's it. We are not getting lucky on this level, but this is kind of one of those levels we were talking about where uh, it can just, if it's not on the top, it can be anywhere. <laughs> uh, it's not there. Oh, Oops, man, to so, say, yeah, you're getting cornered here. <laughs> I would say the rhino had a beef to pick with me, but I'm not sure if rhino, is that considered beef? <laughs> I mean, we'll cut it. <laughs> All meat, meat is just, meat is the beef of nature. You want to nope. let that cook a little longer, Amy? <laughs> nope. So, yeah, we're getting pretty unlucky on this level. <laughs> the this took you straight backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, just to give you perspective as well, so this on uh, Rambo, uh, all of these mobs, if I got hit consecutively by any of them, uh, would kill me. Yeah, any so. two hits. Oh, uh, I mean, the facing's not being kind yeah. to you. No, I'm going to check down here. Maybe we're lucky. Yeah, just out and in, out and in. Yeah, there's, oh. there's a branch down there, so we're hoping it's here. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to have to kind of walk, bait these guys out. And then try to phase on the other side. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. There. <laughs> yeah, the difficulty comes when Funk runs out of potions in the oh. potion belt because he can still kind of drink them from his inventory, but it becomes much, much harder. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder. Uh, in this difficulty, it's... Um, not quite as bad as if it was in the hell difficulty, but is still very, very rough. So we got to dungeon level 13. Now we're at the part of the game where uh, we're doing basically a lot of duping just to kind of get to a point where 
the level one doesn't impact our ability to beat the game. Yeah, so normally when you level up, you'd gain some stats, including your magic stat. And as a sorcerer, well, anybody who wants to use magic spells, if you want to level up your spell, there's a magic requirement. And since we're level one, our spells have a pretty low chance to hit. So to overcome that, we need to level them up a decent amount. So we need more magics. Right now, we're going to dupe for some more gold. We're going to look for a few items. And then, including, we want an elixir of magic, which is just a potion that gives you plus one magic. And we're just going to dupe a bunch of these until we get to the, the stat requirement that we need so we can level up our spells to be able to continue the game. So, like we said, there's going to be a long section of duping here coming up, Ash. So this is a good opportunity just to read some donations. Okay, well, I've got $50 from Wizard of Kitty that says, didn't know this was actually a 1% dad joke run. <laughs> we also have $100 from Sonic Dark Diablogon that says, the Dark Wanderer is mine. No objections, I presume. Dedicating this donation to my sister, Gamav, who is currently watching this run from Fukuoka, Japan. Diablo is her all-time favorite game. Can we take a moment to appreciate how Funkmaster MP never misses with his runs? Let's do this. I missed a lot of dupes, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I totally missed with my run. I'm sorry. No, this is so entertaining. You got this. We get to hear the bid war winner, you know, just even more. So with, with phasing, it's a little bit random and unpredictable. We're looking for a book of teleport at this point, I believe, uh, because that's more controllable. Are you still getting teleport on normal or? Um, so in this case, I'm going to use scrolls of teleport. It's actually um, in level 1% non-hard mode. It's a lot easier than um, on the other ones. So basically, uh, you don't actually need a book. A book's convenient because you can teleport as many times as you want. But I can now just basically dupe a scroll almost indefinitely um, and get the same effect. Yeah, and you'll be in less danger, so you can make do with less what teleports. Yeah. So we're looking specifically, I believe it's, one second, 81 magic. So I'm duping enough of these to get high enough magic. I'm going to dupe a bit further just so we have enough firewall levels. Um, but for the most part, we're ultimately aiming for around 81 magic. Yeah, and we still got a couple more rows of these potions, so a couple more donations is good to go, Ash. Can I also say I just love the fact that the sound is, what are you buying? And we just did a Resident Evil run, and I just think that that's such a great crossover. <laughs> <laughs> we have $25 from Deary that says, what does a pirate pay for corn? A buccaneer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We also have $20 from Hexen that says, Good luck, Funkmaster MP, with your run from the Diablo 3 community. I appreciate it. Thank you. And also, um, just as a comment, um, so if anyone's interested in this uh, run, we do have a speedrun.com. Uh, so if you are uh, ever interested, our Discord link is in the speedrun. Uh, and uh, I'm totally open to, uh, you know, getting people into here. Uh, our, our run has been pretty optimized for a bunch of years now, so the community kind of has dwindled a bit. So that being said, if you are interested, I would love to catch you up. I'll take my time out of my day, too. Um, so please, please, please <laughs> <laughs> start running this game. For marathon safety, just so I don't buying? run out of scrolls, I am going to actually go for a book of teleport. It won't take too much longer. Yeah. Uh, just actually, I don't have a timer. How bad is my time right now? <laughs> well, you're at 27 minutes and 19 okay. seconds. Okay, uh, the re remainder of the run after duping is very quick, so uh, we should be well within estimate. So by bad, you're saying you're still doing great. Is what still doing amazing. So, oh, this leads to another comment, okay? So... This is a pun or a comment? An actual comment. Okay. okay. So I, I've noticed the uh, the uh, GDQ like games list has been constantly ahead of schedule. Uh, my goal for this run is, run is to be the great equalizer. <laughs> Sorry. To balance that out, I've got one for you. Uh oh no. So you notice in the dungeon, right? Yeah. The sorcerer's always got his arms up, mm -hmm. right? Holding the staff. And in town, he's very relaxed. What is he doing? He's resting Diablos. Oh, I get it. 
<laughs> his elbows. Yeah, his elbows. Okay. Uh, the, the elbows. I high five myself for that one. I think it would have better, been better if you said the elbows. Also. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good counter argument, Amy. Good job. I'm stuck at a pun sandwich right now. Uh, also, I heard a donation earlier <laughs> from a, a Deary. Hello, Deary. Another WoW friend of mine. <laughs> uh, perfect time for more donations, by the way. Awesome. Well, I have $25 from Arc Arc Arxios that says another Diablo quote is, your death will be avenged, just like all the deaths from cancer by donating to PCF. I also have $10 from Brittany that says, I actually like the jokes. They're quite funny. Love you. <laughs> Oh no, I wonder if that Brittany is my sister Brittany. <laughs> Are you inventory duping right now? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm currently doing a bit of that. Uh, inventory duping is a lot harder than a regular duping um, because not only, oh, you know what, sure. Uh, <laughs> you just turn money into a Too much gold. magic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the shopkeeper could do that. She could turn money into an elixir of magic. <laughs> True. Okay, there we go. We are at the uh, amount we need, so perfect. So now, now we're almost, almost, almost done. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Which GDQ staff actually allowed this in? You're doing great. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, I duped the firewall into the stone curse. Feels bad. When your duping is too effective at what you're trying to do. This is actually funny enough what I was talking about when I was saying uh, <laughs> the great equalizer, by the way. <laughs> uh, actually, we learned that. Yeah, okay. What so now I have to refine firewall. I am so fine? sorry. Yeah, but it is a good time for some more donations. Oh, easy. firewall. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Also, I appreciate it, chat. You're doing great. Or And the audience, thank you for being such good sports. <laughs> Wait, okay, so so I have legitimately never played Diablo 1. Why are you learning this spell like 15 times? It levels it up. Got yeah. it. Thank you. Every time you use a spell book again, it gives you the higher level version. And that's why we need higher magic, because each time you level it up, you need a higher magic requirement. So you see Funk I moused over that firewall for a second and said requires 76 magic. If we get another one, it would bump it up to like 80-something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. We are so close to done with the run. We are so. Well, we should probably <laughs> explain this point, oh, how you're going to like kill things because I don't think we've explained that yet. Talk to the cow again. <laughs> <laughs> so, for anyone who doesn't get the context of that, that's um, there's uh, an anime out there. I have no idea the name of Fist uh, of the North Star. Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Fist of the North Star. Okay, there we go. Uh, wait, what? You good? Uh, as long as you're. Your spells look fine? Yeah, kind of. Okay, I'm duping. <laughs> I thought we were done with this. Oh, because you thought you bought the, the book of teleport. I, but I was out of... Yeah, Yeah, you didn't. That's uh, why I had okay. so much extra gold. I was looking at my inventory. Yeah. I should have a perfectly routed gold amount. Yeah, but it yeah, yeah. uh, looks like we're doing the safety, which is fine. Um, the, the scrolls of tele... Oh, actually, I should probably even pick up the old scroll. Um, the scrolls of teleport, you can do the same type of thing, but you have to be a little more selective with it. So, um, like here, okay, so these are Steel Lords. I know they're, um, that Steel Lord means that I'll have the Warlord of Blood. It's at the top of the map. It basically guarantees that I have a stairwell there. So, this is kind of why I'm saying I have to be selective. So, I only have a couple of dupes worth of scrolls. Um, so, at this point, I'm only going to ever teleport if I have a chance to actually get to the stairwell very quickly. Yeah, so we're trying to get to level 15 so we can find a staff, bring that back to Deckard Kane, and that will allow us to go after the two final bosses. Oh. And even if you're familiar with this game, you're going to go, well, Funk, you only have Firewall and Stone Curse. How is that going to work? Because you're only level one. Those don't do a lot of damage. Well, one of the things about Stone Curse that a lot of people aren't familiar with is that if you petrify an enemy with Stone Curse, it increases your chance to hit them to 100%. So we're going to use Stone Curse alongside Firewall to guarantee that uh, Lazarus can't resist Firewall. And we're going to do some more nonsense that we'll explain when we get there. But uh, unfortunately, Stone Curse doesn't work on Diablo, so we won't spoil how that's going to work when we get there. But we're going to use Stone Curse plus Firewall to take out Lazarus and then another trick to go after Diablo afterwards. 
Jesus. Wait, I'm not sure if I did this one. So, um, have, has anyone ever wondered, you know, when... <laughs> I, I, heard the, I heard the audience yeah. cackle already. They're ready. Nope. Oh, oh no. let it rip. Let it let rip. rip. Okay. Do it. Has anyone ever wondered, you know, Kane's standing beside the... Uh, or sorry, Deckard is always standing beside the, uh, the well all the time. I think his back would probably hurt at his age. He probably should get a new cane. Deckard, cane, get it? <laughs> so, so now that we've found the staff... <laughs> so now that we've found the staff, we've brought it back to Kane. It has opened up a portal. we got to find the pentagram on the floor. There it is. That's going to take us to Lazarus's lair. If we can click on it, and unfortunately, when enemies are near the portal, clicking the enemy takes precedence. So we kind of have, kind of have to bait the enemies away from the portal so that we can go click on the portal. And if they are not behaving... They, they're just mobbing the portal and yeah. funk at the same time. The other big thing about the portal in particular is... Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have never seen that before. <laughs> That's never happened before? Yeah, this is, where, this is where they click the button and you know, change the timer. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so the whole point of that is, um, if you have an enemy near a portal when you come back in from a portal, um, the enemy actually can hit you during a load screen. So one of the biggest issues is if that happens, uh, where I go down here and I do this entire area, et cetera, et cetera, and I click the or I go back to that area from this portal. If there's an enemy there, I've already done all this. I've already... S Ooh, I need to dupe that one again. Sorry. Uh, I. If I go back there and there's an enemy there, I've already saved in here and everything. Like, there's no easy way for me to um, kind of unsoft lock myself from being killed every single time I leave that portal. So that's why I kind of bait the enemies away so I don't accidentally kind of soft lock in the process. Yeah, so the difficulty here when we get to Lazarus is, well, how are you going to cast enough spells? But while he's monologuing at us, we can cast Firewall, and he's not taking damage until we close the dialogue. So then we Stone Curse the enemies in the room, then close the dialogue, Stone Curse him, while the Firewalls are on top of him, and then he just dies. Wait, I love it. Yeah, you leveled up. He doesn't give experience. How did I level? Did you kill the enemy on did the right it, side of the room? Oh, did you mouse over a monk? Did they teleport on top of the fire? They shouldn't have. Okay, so just as a comment, he's he doesn't give experience. I have no idea how I just leveled there. All right, let's try that again. There are enemies who can teleport in here, uh, but they shouldn't teleport unless your mouse is near them, which shouldn't have happened. Oh, it's a succubus over here. That makes more sense. Oh, okay. I see. She's just in the corner where we can't see her yet. I'm just trying to get a better angle. Um, so normally that doesn't actually happen, by the way. Oh, she's, yeah, she walks around the corner and then walks into the fire. What? Yeah. Oop. <laughs> what? Your madness ends here. Did you hear his audio cue twice? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that huh. before either. All right, so now we're moving on to Diablo, and unfortunately Diablo is immune to Stone Curse. So while... Uh, well, Funk gets some more teleport uh, scrolls here. We are going to hope that the map layout lets us teleport straight into Diablo's room. Sometimes that happens. If not, we have to pull some levers and then, uh, well, spoiler, one lever, and then get into Diablo's room. But Diablo, like some other character, like some certain enemy types, has a priority if they're in melee range. They will try to keep using the same attack on you and not move. <laughs> Wait, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, there he is. <laughs> uh, so we want to bait... Uh, Diablo into attacking us repeatedly with this attack because he's the same melee. And then we just cast Firewall underneath him while hitting potions to stay alive. Then if you die, you can just unpause the game. <laughs> yeah. So, <And laughs> get, get ready on time, by the way. Oh, that's time, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, that's time. <laughs> so, uh, I... <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, you could say the sorcerer there was dying to beat Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, no, I you're not. How funny the end of Diablo was. <laughs> yeah. I, just, like, I found a sick gem. <laughs> so, um, for anyone who is uh, interested in watching the Rambo run at a later date, I do run these sometimes on my channel, um, Twitch TV Funkmaster MP. Um, but that being said, if if you like Diablo and you like speedrunning in general, um, 
honestly speaking, it may never happen again, but follow Games Done Quick. Games Done Quick is an amazing event. Hopefully Diablo hops on there again. If not, no worries. But make sure you follow Games Done Quick. More so than follow me, follow Games Done Quick. That's awesome. Um, just shout outs. Amy, you were the best. I loved your puns. They weren't the best, but you whoa, were the best. Whoa. <laughs> All right. From the Shockwave, the only thing I know about Shockwave Speed Games is he's a Borderlands former runner. <laughs> former former. <laughs> has former been, yeah. yeah. So I really appreciate that as well. And Railcon, Railcon did an amazing Death Smiles run earlier in the week. And thank you so much for being uh, a part of this. And basically being my info guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shock. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you tried. Ray did a good job. Um, outside of this, uh, the only thing I really want to add is uh, if the, anyone from the 19... Sorry, 1900s. No. 1990s still exists. Um, please make sure uh, to reach out to me. I, I, I really want to get into the old, the segmented run. Please uh, reach out. I, I, there's a lot of tech from the old segmented run that was lost over time, and I'm curious if anyone still has it. So, thanks everyone. Have a good one. See you later. <laughs>